screens that i've created that we're going to recreate now this is a coffee shop app and right so i just created like a sat screen and product information screen you can also maybe put it under your favorites and you can add to card and cards then this is information of this coffee it's very simple to create because you should try as much as possible to use some of the principles or everything that we've learned in class because that's what guides us when we are creating so this is the first screen I'm going I'm creating this first screen that's a search screen so I'm taking a rectangle and I am just putting it here as usual we're using our favorite plugin splash it's just for you to decide which of the pictures suits what you're doing very well let's try this one I think this is okay right so this is navigation icon so i'll just grab it from here you can get it from hero icons so before then i'm going to put on our grid lines let me copy the grid lines that we have here <laughs> so i put some grid lines that's the one on the top section the one on the top section i'm going to copy this this is specification i'll just copy it Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and it's there. So the other option does one on the bottom. Ctrl V, then I come on the screen that I want to paste the the grid lines. Ctrl V and it copies. Then the other one I want to put the body. Now Ctrl C, I'm placing my mouse on this section here where it's highlighted blue make sure it's here then i click ctrl c go to the frame itself ctrl v and i've copied add it as a style so we can easily just use it mobile read one so if i just keep copy it here can always use it all right so i've copied this and i'll just take the test here and just put here just make sure i follow the grid lines make sure it looks nice okay based on the picture that we have here i think it will not be suitable if i put it at the side but let me let's take this coffee up here okay so what i did was i clicked on i clicked on this rectangle that we imported an image into and i selected this crop tool here then i moved it up to my desired size okay Let me just use everything white every day is great for coffee okay that's fine so i'll take another rectangle just because i want to form the second section so i want to put a corner radius but i do not want to put on the bottom i just want to put on the right side so remember you click on this independent corners you click on it and i'm just going to use the top left corner let's make it 20 the other one this one is the top right corner 20 again and or let's make it 30 30 Think we're good to go let's turn it to white all right so to create this search i think you is some you just like use the a, a rectangle turn the corner radius to let's say 20 then remove the fill put a stroke Put the stroke you want.
put it to your desired section then type search and put the search button i'm just going to copy the one i have here i'll create this into an auto layout so it's fitting i come here i sent and just make it center let's zoom it in and see if this frame this looks too big let's make it 15 then the space between the coffee and this is too much let's make it 16 and i think this is also too much all right so the spacing we have here is 49 but i'm going to do an auto layout with this one and i'll center it the spacing we have from beginning to 49 let's just leave it as 48 48 okay we're good to go then to form this section that you're seeing here is very simple i take a, a shape here So, um, I think I, let's see how, what shape we use here. We use, width is 107. Okay, well, we're almost there. 107, height is 102. 102. Alright, so we're going to change the corner radius to, let's say, 15. Let's see what it gives us. Oh, that's too much. Let's use it 10. Okay, so I'm going to also import coffee. So I think we have three images. I'm going to duplicate this, then put in the colors that I want, put in the images that I want. But when I was creating that other one, I made sure I typed in exactly the type of coffee that I wrote on the body. You can see here, we have, what we have is cafe, cafe mocha. So that's what we have here. So let me just import this section here. So I just created a test here. So the spacing between this first one and this second is eight. While spacing between the other one is 28. I created an auto layout here also and snapped it in perfectly. So I am going to arrange this here. You could just come up with the type of coffee that you like or that has appealed to you before. So the spacing here, let's use the spacing between this frame, this frame with the image and the right up to be 16. All right. So we're going to use, let's just import this right up here. So I'm importing this right up here. So let's arrange it. Which one will be better? Okay. I'll create an auto layout with this one too. Then I also create an auto layout with the two. Select the two, create an auto layout. Auto layout just snaps everything together and just you know, positions it the way you want. Then the spacing between the two, I select the two. I make the spacing 28. 28 too. I think we're good. Then this icon here. This icon here, what I did was I created a rectangle, small rectangle. Then I used the heroes hero icon from yes. Okay. Just turn the corner radius to five. Five, five is two. Oh, I was on the vector. Let's turn it to five. 
Okay, five feels great. So I just want the vector. I don't want this same um, frame that came with it. So I'm going to group the two together. The rectangle and the vector, I'll group it. Then change the color of this rectangle to this color. And that settles it. Okay, so we're done with this section. We're done with this section. Let's see, are we forgetting anything? Let's hide the layout grid. We're good to go. So let's create the other section, this other section. Select your frame, select one frame. Then same method, select a rectangle, bring down the shape to this extent, go to on splash, select a a coffee picture. Let's try this. Does this look nice? No, I don't like that one. Now that's a challenge. One can spend the whole day looking for a picture. I think this is great. So let's use another rectangle and create a shape here. And to create a shape here, just bring it up above. Let's let's increase the size of this, the height of this. Right? So I can also increase the height of this. Change the border radio, corner radius. I think we use 30 then. We also use 30. And change it to white. So to create this, I just use this shape tool, turn it to white. So I turned it to white also, then gave it an effect of a drop shadow there. Then I used a plugin to generate this love icon and placed it here. So I created the test there. I also used a plugin to generate this favorite icon. Just put it there. Then I created the description. So for the ones that seem a bit hard, I that's the one I'm going to explain, but I believe you can create all these test, test boxes here. Then this cut, what I did was I used a rectangle. Mm -hmm. So let's put the grid line on so we can see what we're doing. You know, I already created the grid line as a style, so it's going to be under here. So I'm using this color. I'll use my color picker to pick the color. Uh, change the corner radius to let's say 15 15 is too much 10 then another thing i will do is to add an effect of drop shadow so it's not drop shadow that does all the magic there are other effects too that you can explore there then
so i put it here selected it to centralize this place it at the center and there you have it